Good morning. Welcome to the 2012 Headquarters Honor Awards Program. I am Carolyn Knowles, and I will serve as your Master of Ceremony. This program was created to recognize Headquarters Civil Service employees, contractor employees, and teams who have made exemplary contributions to the Headquarters mission or to the welfare of NASA employees. As the program begins, please stand for the presentation of colors, followed by our national anthem, which will be led by Courtney Williams, Musician Chief, United States Navy Band. Thank you, Musician Chief Williams, Navy Band, and Color Guards for your service and for your support of this program today. Please be seated. We will now have words of welcome from Mr. Jay Hen, Executive Director of Headquarters Operations. Good morning, everyone. As Carolyn said, and, and thank you, Carolyn, for getting us kicked off there, uh, my name is Jay Han. I have the uh, privilege uh, of serving as the Executive Director of Headquarters Operations uh, and the pleasure of welcoming uh, all of you, especially family members and guests, here to the 39th Annual Headquarters Honor Awards Ceremony. Uh, before I go any further, I would simply like to add my appreciation, as has Carolyn, and extend a very special thank you to the Military District of Washington Joint Armed Forces Color Guard uh, and the Chief Williams for that rendition of our national anthem. Uh, I still remember uh, my first Headquarters Honor Award ceremony, uh, and, and despite what several of you out there are thinking, it was not 39 years ago, um, <laughs> maybe may close, but that was the first time I saw the Color Guard march in. Uh, I'm a bit of a history buff, and to just see all of the campaign ribbons uh, hanging down, spanning our country's history, uh, just to me seemed to be an incredibly appropriate context for honoring our own. So I'm always very, uh, in, enjoy having them back year after year and very happy to see them again. Now, 
Uh, if my math is correct, uh, this means the first Headquarters Honor Award ceremony was held in 1974. Now, NASA in 1974, uh, I was just uh, sort of refreshing my memory this morning, uh, has some very interesting parallels to the NASA of 2012. Uh, we had a space station. Uh, in February of that year, the three-man crew of Skylab returned to Earth after spending 85 days in space, something at the time I'm sure seemed like a very long duration flight. Uh, we were in the midst of transitioning from one major human exploration program to another. Uh, North American Rockwell had just begun work on the first shuttle orbiter, uh, later named Enterprise. Uh, and we are actively exploring the solar system and beyond. In September, for example, Mariner 10 made a second flyby of Mercury. Uh, and late in the year, December, uh, Pioneer 11 made its closest approach to Jupiter. Now, I suspect that our main speaker may have more to say about the NASA of today and tomorrow. So I'll just uh, leave in saying that uh, I'm confident in predicting that the next 39 years will be even more impressive than the last 39. Now, it's often said uh, that we make the hard things look easy. Um, but in the midst of doing those hard things, it's often very difficult to take a moment to stop, look around, and say thank you to all of those who make it possible. So it truly is my pleasure to welcome you this morning to celebrate the accomplishments of over 220 headquarters employees. Now, for those of you who are mostly here because of the food, don't worry. Uh, we're, we're, we're only going to hand out 26 awards. Uh, several of those, as I'm sure you've seen from the program, are team awards. And so those 26 represent the contributions of a vastly number greater of individuals. Uh, I'd also like to point out we have one new award this year. This is the first year that headquarters has offered the Administrative Professional Award. Uh, as you'll hear more about in a couple of minutes, this award recognizes administrative professionals who have made exceptional contributions in the administrative support field. And I'm very pleased to say that we had a strong cadre of nominations this first time around. I'd like to wrap up by acknowledging the many individuals who have worked behind the scenes to prepare for and put on this ceremony. Uh, in, in the great Academy Awards tradition, I will not try to list each of them by name because I would leave somebody out. I would like to say, though, uh, thank you to Mr. Glenn Delgado, who chaired our Headquarters Honor Awards Committee this year, uh, as well as to all the members of that committee. I appreciate your efforts. On with the program. Now, I'm not totally sure where our next speaker was in 1974. Los Angeles, maybe. I, I might have might got that right. Okay, great. In any event, uh, this is the second or maybe the third time that uh, I've been able to, to introduce Charlie to an internal audience. And I've already gravitated toward, you know, shorter is better. Um, as all of you know, Charlie has been a constant and very vocal supporter, not only of the agency, but of all of us as employees. And I can think of no one better to have here to help us celebrate this morning. So ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Bolden. Thanks so very much. Thank you. Thanks very much, Jay, and uh, thanks very much to you, Carolyn. I, I know the, I think the color guards back in the back somewhere are probably waiting for food, too. Um, I'll tell you, it's not very often that we get to hear a robust baritone voice sing the national anthem, and, and that was impressive. So uh, I, I also thank uh, musician Chief Williams for his, his rendition of the national anthem. And as I had an opportunity to tell uh, uh, a young lady down at, at KSC on Friday when we did the Atlantis rollover. The national anthem's hard, uh, very difficult to do, and uh, it, it was superbly done then and superbly done this morning. Um, as everyone votes today, and hopefully all of you have somehow, if you haven't, I hope you will get out because it is our civic duty to do so. So, um, so please make sure that you are not one of those that I'm going to be angry with because you didn't take advantage of the opportunity to cast your vote. Um, it is an important day because today we vote for the leaders of our nation. I think it's fitting that today at NASA we honor some of the multitude of leaders in all the fields who are leading our nation's space program. Today we recognize our friends, colleagues, and fellow members of the NASA family here at headquarters who've made a difference in the past year. But I also want to thank all of you, every headquarters employee, for your outstanding efforts. Headquarters leads the efforts of the NASA agency across the nation, and it has been a year of amazing milestones. People always want to know what goes on at NASA headquarters, and uh, I tell them a lot of hard work. 
uh, and I watch it all. It's always a pleasure walking the halls of this building because so many of you have stories to tell me about your work and concerns and the common denominator is that you're passionate about what you do. Without that, nothing else matters. With that invaluable asset, we're able to achieve the impossible together. The personal and professional milestones of the colleagues we honor today are helping to unfold a new era of space exploration right now. The NASA workforce is the very best in government, and those we honor today have excelled beyond even that high standard. So please join me in honoring and thanking the men and women who receive honor awards today. They are the heart and soul of NASA. They help us do all the hard things that our agency is called on to do with enthusiasm and professionalism. I congratulate everyone who's being recognized today, as well as your families, uh, and I think I see many of them here today with us. We're fortunate to have the benefit of your talents, and the entire world is a better place because of the work that you do. It's my honor to lead this agency and to work with all of you to create the future right now. Together, we're making the nation proud. And now, it's my great honor to personally congratulate, along with Robert Lightfoot, uh, this year's Headquarters Honor Awards recipients. So thank you all very much, and we'll now get to the business that we came here for. Okay, I will. I'd like to thank Mr. Hen and also our administrator for those very kind words. At this time, Associate Administrator Lightfoot, would you please join Mr. Bolden on the stage? Today, 26 Headquarters Awards will be presented in eight categories. Each awardee will come on the stage to receive the award as I read the citation. I ask that you hold your applauses until I have completed reading the entire citation. The first category of awards is the Distinguished Achievement Award. This award recognizes employees for significant sustained achievements representing substantial contributions to the mission of headquarters. We have two recipients. John Falker is the first. For exemplary contributions and leadership to NASA and the Space Technology Program, NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts. The second recipient is Catherine Carmazin for exceptional professional achievement while serving as the program manager of the Office of Budget Management and Systems Support with dedication and initiative. The next category of awards is the Administrative Professional Award. This award recognizes administrative professionals who have made exceptional contributions in the administrative support field. As was earlier mentioned, this is the first year the Administrative Professionals Award is included in the NASA Headquarter Honors Award. We have four recipients. The first is Laverne Drayton. for exemplary professionalism and tireless dedication in support of three divisions in the Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate. The next recipient is Mary Dunn. In recognition of exemplary contributions, internal and external, to the organization and to the headquarters mission. The next recipient is Naima Lee. For ex 
exceptional dedication, initiative, and teamwork while serving as the Secretary for the Office of Small Business Programs. The next category is the Civil Service Team Award. This award recognizes a team of headquarters civil service employees. Okay, let's go back. The last recipient in this category is not Administrator Bolden. It is Cynthia Thomas for providing exceptional administrative support in the establishment of the Office of the Chief Scientist and the execution of its function. One of the things I've learned in being an MC is that you have to be flexible. And talk about flexible this morning, the whole program changed. So I am really operating in a very good way here. The next award now is the Civil Service Team Award. This award recognizes a team of headquarters civil servant employees who have made significant contributions to the mission of headquarters or to the welfare of headquarters employees. We have three teams being honored. The first is the Astrophysics Division Research Competitions Team. Accepting on behalf of the team is Linda Spark. For achieving for the first time, the agency's goal of announcing research proposal selections across an entire division's research program in less than 180 days. Next, we have the Procurement Quality Team. Accepting on behalf of the team is Carrie O'Hagan. Next, we have the Space Shuttle Orbiter Disposition Team. Accepting on behalf of the team is Richard Irving. For outstanding contribution to the agency and the Space Shuttle Program. The next category is the Civil Service Contractor Team Award. This award recognizes teams composed of both headquarters civil service employees and contractors who have made significant contributions to the mission of headquarters or to the welfare of headquarters employees. Teams include the Commemorative Space Shuttle, Shuttle Program Book Team. Accepting on behalf of the team is Michael Serkovic. for outstanding support of the Space Shuttle Program in designing a book honoring space travel. Next, we have the Headquarters Combined Federal Campaign Team. Accepting on behalf of the team is Natalie Sims. For outstanding teamwork, in the completion of 2011 Combined Federal Campaign. Next, we have the Headquarters Operations Move Team. Will the recipient please come forward? <laughs> This recipient has the opportunity to do a shout out. Would you shout out your name, please? <laughs> you get to do a shout out. Oh, all 
time, Gerald Gloss. Thank you, Gerald Gloss. <laughs> Next, we have the headquarters operations move team. And he just left us. <laughs> Next. See, a little humor is always good, right? If you don't know, I'm in Toastmasters, and they told me if you get to a point where it looks like a little glitch, just put a little humor in there. So thanks for laughing. Next, we have the JCL tool development team. Accepting on behalf of the team is James Johnson for developing and implementing new analysis tools, enhancing NASA's ability to generate joint confidence levels for cost and schedule estimates, supporting all major projects. Next, we have the Sophia Joining Forces Award. Accepting on behalf of the team is Kang Nguyen. <laughs> For excellence, you can tell them, sir. No, you tell them. Okay. I got excited about this when I got it here. Okay, his name is spelled H U Y N H. Anybody want to tell me how that's pronounced? Some people would say ho, some people would say win. We choose to say win. Come win. Thank you. <laughs> And, and it, I, I will tell you, this was the team that brought Sophia to Andrews Air Force Base and brought military kids from all over the area out, and they were mesmerized. So uh, I, I'm not singling it out except for the fact that it was just awesome. Thank so, you. Thank it was you. a team. Right? Thank, you. thank you very much. That would have been a good opportunity for the administrator to talk a little longer. <laughs> And, sir, being a military man, I give you that option at this point. <laughs> Let me see what the next one is. We'll, we'll, okay. We'll, we'll add a little bit. Oh. The next award is the Corporative External Achievement Award. This award recognizes employees for outstanding, creative, person-to-person -person relationships with personnel outside of headquarters. This year, we have two recipients. The first is Mary Boytek. <laughs> For exemplary work <laughs> in developing an outreach program at NASA called Fame Lab Astrobiology that discovers and develops concise, effective communication, making NASA science more accessible. <laughs> Secondly, we have Kenneth Jux for outstanding cooperation with NASA centers, academia, and the international research community to advance NASA's observation-based research in atmospheric composition. The next category is the Creative Management Award. This award recognizes supervisors who make a unique contribution to their offices or missions by working creatively with people, inspiring and motivating them to greater achievement. For the Creative Management Award, Michelle Calloway could not be with us, but we wanted to acknowledge her for her outstanding contributions. The next category is the Exceptional Performance Award category, and we have six recipients. I'd like to ask the first recipient to come forward, Ms. Gail Allen. We'd like to thank Gail for all of her contributions. Next, we have Michael Breeson. We'd like to thank Michael for his excellent contributions also. Thank you very much. 
Sarah DeWitt could not be with us today, but we'd like to acknowledge her. Next, we have Tiffany Schufert. We'd like to thank Tiffany for all of her major contributions. Next, we have Mark Sestil. Sestili. We'd like to thank Mr. Sestili for all of his contributions. I've got that now, Sestili. So when you all see him, remember Sestili. Our next recipient could not be with us today, but we also want to acknowledge him, and that's Mr. Anthony Sogranis. So let's give him a round of applause. The next category is the Special Service Award. This award recognizes headquarters contractors, individuals, or teams who have made significant contributions to the mission of headquarters or to the welfare of headquarters employees. In the individual category, we have two recipients. The first is Alicia Anderson. For exceptional initiative and effort that made the NASA Science on Sphere exhibit a smash success at the International 2012 World Radio Conference in Geneva, Switzerland. The next recipient is Tanya Johnson, but she's unable to be with us today, but we wanted to at least acknowledge her. In the group category, we have the Information Technology Support Team, and this is our only recipient in this category. Accepting on behalf of the team is Deneen Newton. For exceptional professional achievement, dedication, initiative, and teamwork in providing outstanding customer service to the Office of Budget Management and Systems Support. <laughs> Next, we have the Special Service Team Award. And this is awarded to the Information Technology Support Team. And it looks like we're not going to do that. So at this time, all of our awardees have been awarded. <laughs> Is there anyone that we left off? Just checking. If not, at this time, I'd like to ask you to applaud our two great leaders for helping us in this ceremony. And I don't, you know, usually there are bunches of kids out there. Are there family members or others, friends, stuff like that who are here? Would you stand up? Just friends and family of any of the awardees so we can... <laughs> so we can thank you. Thanks very much. All right, I'll leave it to you. At this time, we will have closing remarks by our associate administrator, Mr. Lightfoot. All right, well, good morning, and uh, Carolyn, great job recovering. I, I don't think you guys can see, but this is wild up here. There's paper, <laughs> there's, there's paper everywhere. She's done a great job trying, to, uh, trying to, to keep up with what's going on. I really appreciate you inviting me to join today to recognize some of, the, some of our headquarters and agency's best folks. One of the best things I get to do as, a, as associate administrator is I get to go around this agency um, and, and meet so many members of the NASA family and see what they're doing to support our mission and everything we're trying to do as the agency tries to reach its milestones. You know, whether you work directly on a program or a project or, or whether you just support or in mission support helping those programs and projects be successful, you honor NASA and this nation with what you do and your great accomplishments. And this is our chance to honor you, and that was what was so great about today. On any given day, you may not think it, but you're making history. 
You're making history every day. That's what this agency does. And I know this dedication, and, and it sometimes requires quite a bit of personal sacrifice. Um, and there's sometimes where you'd rather not be here. You'd rather be at home at a kid's game or something like that. So to our guest, like Charlie said, thank you for being part of our extended NASA family as well. You're the ones that allow us to get to do what we get to do every day. And we couldn't do it without you supporting us at home. So thank you for that. If you ask the public what they know about NASA, what's known, what we're known for in general, typically what they'll do is they'll come up with a piece of hardware or a, piece, or a program. You'll hear about Hubble. You hear about space shuttle. You hear about space station. And now, of course, you'll hear about Curiosity, things like that. And those are all great and amazing achievements that we have. But today, what we're recognizing is our most important asset, and that's our people. I think you are the source, every one of you, whether you are an awardee today or whether you're just here supporting them, you're the source of our great achievements. You're the people that, that the spaceflight community and all our peers out there look to. You're, you're what makes or breaks us. Reflect on the citations you heard today. Think about the body of work that that represents. Then multiply that by 10 centers. And think about the folks that are hearing that at every center in this agency and what we accomplish every year. Whether it's a supervisor who helps you to succeed, whether it's a teammate who, who makes a difference in your ability to do what you needed to do, or, or a coworker who just helps you pull that project across the line and gets you there at the end of the day. It's about our people. And it's truly amazing to be such a part to be part of such a great agency making such a contribution to not only this country but but to this world. You know, we, we have plenty of challenges and plenty of opportunities at NASA. But then again, haven't we always had that? At NASA, we dare to do great things. And we only do them because of you. No hardware builds itself. No test runs itself. No launch vehicle or spacecraft operates itself. We need our people. And that's, that's what we're recognizing today. I'm going to share two stories with you real quick. I, I, I remember and, and still get goosebumps. For the, I'm from the South, so if you don't know what goosebumps are, that's the <laughs> things that raise up when you're cold, like I had this morning walking in. Um, but I still get goosebumps seeing that first thumbnail that came down from Curiosity when we landed, when everybody was sitting there saying, wait for it, wait for it, you know, and they surprised us with the thumbnail so quick. How exciting that was. But you know what I'm going to remember 20 years from now? I'm not going to remember that thumbnail. I'm going to remember that team that was jumping around, celebrating, and enjoying their success. I'm going to remember their passion. As Charlie said earlier, I'm going to remember their sense of humor. As Carolyn said, that was so prevalent there. And yet they were doing a very serious thing. And yet they had that passionate sense of humor. And that's what our people bring. I also was fortunate enough to be in the control room for the last shuttle launch and at the, the SLF for the last landing. And while I remember the liftoff and I'll remember wheel stops, again, what I will remember is my teammates and my colleagues and my friends, the people like you, who made all that happen, who persevered and made us shut that program down and close that chapter, but set us up for the future, set us up the way we're supposed to be doing as an exploration team. That's what I'll remember. It's the people. You, if you, don't remember one thing, just remember it's the people. So I thank you so much for what you do for this agency, for headquarters, and for this nation um, as, as we continue this journey of exploration. Please keep helping us make the impossible possible. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lightfoot, for those powerful closing remarks. And what I'd like you all to do right now is to please join me in giving all of our honorees a round of applause. And it was mentioned that Mr. Delgado led the panel that selected these great people, but he also had some help. So I'd like to also thank all of the members of the panel because they spent many hours in looking over these uh, applications and coming up with the ones that we would select for today. So let's also take, thank the panel, please. And all of our speakers today, our senior leaders, talked about excellence. And by having this ceremony today, we're actually showing excellence in action. So I implore each of us to pursue excellence 
in all that we do. This concludes our ceremony. However, there is refreshments in the lobby, so please be sure to do that. We also ask Mr. Bolden and Mr. Lightfoot to join us on the stage along with all of the honors.